Good morning, folks. The other day I mentioned uh, we had a really special council meeting tonight. So at 6 o'clock tonight, something very important is going on, and I need your help. So do you remember uh, Mayor Band's clapping? So that was like a couple years ago almost now, and uh, that was pretty pretty big deal. Got a, got a few hits on that one. Um, you know, they're trying to do it again, folks. They're not trying to be clapping this time. They're just outright going straight to attacking your free speech. Now, for decades, as long as I remember, we've been able to speak for five minutes on an item. If you've got something to come up to, to council, you can speak for five minutes. For and against things, you can speak five minutes, and that's been fine. Now, there's been times when we've had tons of people wanting to speak, and maybe for that, we should limit that and make it, you know, and shorten the time, but, but it's already limited to 30 minutes that you can speak, and they want to drop that down to 20 minutes. And on top of that, they want to make you register. They want to make you register if you're going to speak. Now, I understand they're trying to make it so you don't have to say, hey, I'm Timothy Davis, 810 Holly Street, like I've said 10,000 times. By the way, you come by my house with nefarious intent, it'll be the last thing you do, so don't even try it. But anyways, folks, they are trying to limit your speech. So we need people to come and speak and tell them this is absurd. Enough is enough. They don't want to hear from you folks because they've got a lot of things on the ticket, like giving $3 million away to uh, a billionaire or millionaire. Um, things like that they're going to be doing. They, they raised your taxes by $40 million, just about uh, 35 point, uh, $39.5 million. They've, they've raised your taxes. They've done all kinds of stuff and they gaslight and they lie and they'll do it again tonight. I guarantee it. Someone up there is going to present this as it's something that it's not. They're going to go up there and say, no, this is for efficiency. This is, this is to save the time for council. And tonight, they're going to perfectly illustrate for us exactly how inefficient they are. And it has nothing to do with listening to the people. Their inefficiency is their lack of competence. Folks, that is it. Our city management, all of them have failed on epic levels recently. And they are the reason of the inefficiency, folks. They keep asking for more and more of your money. They could buy, they could afford everything they want if they would just think smartly and use the money wisely that they already have. But they're gonna come out for bonds. They're gonna come out for all kinds of reasons to raise your taxes again next year. I guarantee it next year, they'll try to raise your taxes. If we don't put the right three people in place in District 5, District 6, and for mayor, We've got to get the right people so they stop raising our taxes. Raising our taxes increases the rent that people pay. So your affordable housing, out the door with this nonsense. The apartments they are trying to put up are really expensive, fancy apartments. All the developers want to do that because it's high demand. This is another reason they're just, they're not helping us folks. They're not doing anything to help us, but they're going to lie and they're going to gaslight. Our mayor's the best at this. They're going to continue to misrepresent everything they're doing as something great for the people. This is a microcosm of what happens in Washington, D.C., folks. It is a disaster. And I don't care if you're on the right, left, or center, folks. We need to spin tonight, come up there and speak and say enough of this. This Ordinance 2023 is a no, an absolute no. There is no justification whatsoever for this. Now, they'll give you reasons, but this is not justified, folks. They just want to squash your speech because we are going to resist everything they do. And they don't want to sit there and listen to the people. They've clearly, in one ear, out the other, time and time again, they have ruined things in their own backyard. Not even listening to their own neighbors, folks, and destroyed neighborhoods. They are doing all kinds of stuff to ruin the feel of this town, to take away the beauty and the wonder in this town. And they're not spending any money to increase the police, the parks and all the things that we dress drastically need in this town to keep us safe and to help us enjoy this beautiful town that we have. So folks, tonight, City Council, please join us 6 p.m. over there on Landa Street, the old Albertsons. Folks, come on over there and you don't have to sign up tonight. They do request that you give your name. They say that. Most of the people do it. I do it. Um, give your name and address. Just um, if you want to speak. Otherwise, just stand there. Sit with us in solidarity. Support us those that are going to speak and help us save New Braunfels. Thank you all. God bless.